Welcome to Fading Memories, a podcast with advice, wisdom, and hope from caregivers who have lived the experience and survived to tell the tale. Think of us as your caregiver best friend. Welcome back, Fading Memories listeners. I am super excited about this bonus guest because they have the solution to a problem that I think more of us have had than we care to admit. So welcome Rory Hennessy. He is from IMP, which stands for It's My Phone, and he is going to tell us all about their product that helps us prevent scammers and spammers from getting in touch with our loved ones. So thanks, Rory. Jennifer, thanks for having us. We're really excited to uh, have a chance to, to engage with caregivers in your community. Um, we have uh, we've created a product at uh, joinimp.com and basically you know we, we were sick of getting spam calls and our bonnet <laughs> calls and uh, the billions of them invade our phone lines every month and there are plenty of solutions for you know security systems and all sorts of ways to keep bad guys out of your house but they have a, a tendency to to sneak in through that that phone line and so many of us you know so we're up here in New Hampshire uh, caregivers for my 85 year old grandmother. And, um, you know, it's just, it's, it, it doesn't end with these, with these fam calls. And so what, what we do is, uh, we have a piece of hardware that connects to your, you plug it into your landline. And basically the only way that your phone rings is if it's someone that imp recognizes. And so the, the hardware connects with your smartphone. And what happens is all the contacts in your smartphone get passed along to your landline phone. And so each and every call that comes in, if it's somebody that imp recognizes, the phone rings and you can answer it. And that way, anytime the phone rings, you know it's a call you actually want. And for everybody else, imp just takes a message for you quietly in the background. So there's no ringing, there's no buzzing, there's no anything. And you get a little notification and can handle it from there. No flashing light on a answering machine showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right. Yeah, it's, um, you know, n- none of that. So we try to keep it really simple, keep the setup really easy. And, um, you know, for a lot of caregivers, it's nice because uh, they can set it up in their loved one's home and the loved one doesn't even know it's there. Right. It's nothing distracting, jumping out at them. And it just quietly hides in the hides in the corner. Which is Awesome. So I have a story, I think I told you in an email, but I'm going to share it with the the listeners because this is a perfect example of why somebody should get this product, get IMP. So we have family friends that are in their mid eighties and they both have Alzheimer's. They don't live in the same city as their kids. They don't live far from their kids, but it's still, you know, 35, 40 minute drive. So it's not, it's not next door per se. And thankfully they're super well known in the community because she ended up at the bank trying to withdraw over a million dollars to invest in a new business. Mm. Now, most people listening would be like, well, that'd be a problem because my loved one doesn't have over a million dollars. These guys do. And thankfully the banker knew them, knew to call people who knew the phone numbers of the kids, which happened to be my husband because they had a real estate transaction. There was a lot of people having a lot of stress to prevent this woman from giving away a million dollars to some scammer. And so I'm working with my husband to get back with the kids to basically say, you need, you need to get this phone. Now he's very tech savvy. So I am moderately concerned they may not have a landline, Mm -hmm. but you know, that's a scary story. They've, He's worked hard for that money and she worked hard taking care of the family and supporting him. So, you know, they're going to need that money for their care. You know, the kids, I mean, they don't necessarily haven't earned it, but you know, it's like, that's family wealth. We don't want to just give it away to scammers. So I'm hoping we could get them hooked up with you guys. Hopefully they still have a landline. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Never, never thought I'd say that. Yeah. we canceled our landline. We had two of my business line and the home phone. And we were paying like, I don't know, like $60, $70 a month for the home phone just to be harassed constantly by robocalls, spammers, you name it. So this isn't just for caregivers or family members with older loved ones. This would block that nonsense if I still had a landline. <laughs> exactly right. And in full disclosure, you know, we we started, so we're up here in New Hampshire. 
uh, not great cell reception, uh, lots of landline phones up here. And actually, believe it or not, landlines, still over 100 million Americans who still use landlines. And so I hadn't used one for 20 years before moving to New Hampshire. Um, and so it's been a while, but getting up here, you're getting all sorts of call, you know, unwanted calls. And so, you know, the, the original idea or really the motivation for starting IMP was uh, George, our, our founder, was just sick of getting harassed all day long by these by these calls and the phone would just ring and ring and ring. Um, and so that's really, you know, so we spent two years working with security experts and landline experts and really developed it, uh, developed IMP to, you know, to, to eradicate that problem. Our, our mission, as we say, is to, to eliminate the scourge of the unwanted caller. And so that's where we, we come from. And, but over the last six months, you know, we have just been getting these love letters from, from caregivers. And we really, you know, again, with my grandparents, um, the first thing, so my grandfather, we lost him to Alzheimer's two years ago, and we've since moved grandma in with us. But one of the first things that went when grandpa was um, starting to deteriorate was the landline phone, because grandma would walk in and see him talking to somebody that he had no business talking to and just answering the phone. And so for me, this was something that, that hit kind of close to home. And we thought, well, yes, there's a market there and people need it, but we'll eventually find a way to get in front of them. Well, they, they got in front of us pretty quickly. And so the story that you just recounted is one that we get probably five or six times every week. And it's, hey, we're remote caregivers. And all of a sudden we noticed mom was making a lot more donations to companies and we didn't know it, but they were calling and she was answering and sending out money or, hey, you know, mom and dad are making doctor's appointments that nobody knows about and then canceling or they're sending up for insurance policies or we didn't know mom and dad are getting, you know, 40 calls a day. And so mm. the, the caregiver standpoint, you know, from a caregiver standpoint, IMP has really found um, a, a home. And for us, it's just really important to we know that in talking to caregivers, you're tackling, you're trying to come up with solutions almost in real time for things that you didn't even know was a problem. Yeah. And so, you know, it's, it's, you're, you're Googling products and you're trying to find things and you don't even know some things exist to help in, in the areas. And and so we're, we're kind of in that category where people are like, well, landline phones and there's no way to stop these guys. And, and so here, here we are with this product and we're trying to get in front of caregivers and say, hey, actually, this, it's a pretty easy solution. I mean, we figured it out and it's been a great tool for, for caregivers. And we're, um, you know, we're, we're really thankful to have found a community here and look forward to, to being able to help, you know, more in the future. Well, you said there's still like 100 million people using landlines. That sounds like almost a third of the country. Exactly I'm not good, right. at, I'm not good at math, but I think that's, I could do that one. <laughs> that's exactly right. Exactly right. That's significant. I mean, when you consider that, you know, all of the population is not necessarily over 18. I mean, we're we're getting older as a country, but still that's, you know, I'm, I'm not going to have to pull my friends and neighbors and see if they still have a landline. Or if they if they're like us exclusively cell phones because our cell signal up here we my husband and I had AT and T from the beginning our mm -hmm. dads were AT and T employees they were retirees from AT and T so when we moved up to the foothill the Sierra foothills of California and AT and T's signal was non-existent it was like we actually have to switch to Verizon <laughs> it felt like a betrayal yeah <laughs> um but you know and it's it's definitely different up here. Like my internet speed is good, but my upload speed is terrible, which mm -hmm. makes me crazy. But you know, that's, that's the trade-off we get for what we, where we're living. And so I'm wondering how many people in this community still have landlines and have to go do a survey, be one of those annoying yeah, people. <laughs> no, it's, it's, um, it's, it's surprising. And you start to look at it and look at the numbers and, you know, the majority of people over 65 have a landline. And so, you know, and, and for us, the landline is such um, a, you know, it's such an important tool for just keeping in touch and for staying, you know, again, with my grandfather, once we lost that landline to him, you know, grandma has a cell phone and we could call grandma, but she didn't share that cell phone very often. Once in a while, she'd give it over to grandpa and we get to talk to him. But losing that landline really took away, um, took away a significant amount of the time that we were able to, to connect with them. And so, 
you know, landlines are, are still, um, still a thing and still prevalent. And, and unfortunately spam callers are, are just getting worse. We just put out a study over seven and a half million, uh, calls were made to landlines in December alone. And so, you know, there are, there are billions and billions of calls still coming through on a, on a weekly basis. That's insane. So you said the solution for the landlines was fairly simple. Is this something that you can extend to not, well, not the current product, but do you guys have any hopes and plans to extend this to cell phones? Because um, I've got a, I, I facilitate a support group and one person's loved one who is late eighties has only has a cell phone and it's the text messages that are spam that are a problem. So I was like, well, we found one solution for one problem, but it's, it's like playing whack-a-mole trying to just a- avoid all these pitfalls. Yeah. Whack-a-mole is a great analogy. And that's what we say a lot with, um, with, with landline, with traditional call blockers. Cause with a traditional call blocker, what happens is the phone rings and then it's after the fact you have to hit, uh, you know, block this call. So by the time you're trying to do something after the phone rings, it's it's already too late. And the reality is, is that there are hundreds of millions of possible phone numbers for these spammers to use. And so if you stop this phone number, they'll just call you from the next one and then the next one. And so whack-a-mole is exactly what you're doing. Um, and so with us, it's real simple. If the number isn't in your contact list, AMP will just handle it and send you a notification with the voicemail if they leave a voicemail. Um, and from there, you can kind of customize your list and how you want to deal with contacts. But in terms of a cell phone product, it is on our, we call it our product roadmap. But the the, the reality is, is that there are some apps out there that are probably 90% effective. And so um, for us, with the landlines, we've, we found landline, traditional landline call blockers to be about 5% effective. Mm-hmm. And so for us, it was much... Um, <laughs> We were focused on getting that 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 bigger problem solved with the landlines, with the idea that once we've nailed that, it's easier to offer some solutions for for cell phones beyond. So I have a question that popped into my head because I use the, um, basically what is it? Don't announce unknown callers on my cell phone, whatever that yeah. feature is, and I got to turn it on and off all the time because, for example, um, back in December I had. Um, a telephone doctor's appointment and they said it could come from um a local number a blocked number or basically answer the phone if it rings which is irritating as heck and fortunately i was paying attention to my phone because they managed to call it hour early um but if you're blocking phone you know unknown calls and the doctor's office is using these random numbers how do we get around that? Do we have to un- unplug the product every time the doctor wants to call or they just have to leave messages? Cause that's, that's super annoying to have to, yeah. you know, unblock yeah. your phone so that you can get a random doctor call while you also get random spam calls. Yeah, that's, uh, that is frustrating. <laughs> that is someone who's waited on whether it's, uh, you know, house painters to call me back or the mechanic to call and say the car's ready. Um, there's always, there's always something like that. And so what, what we found is that, so in, again, at the, at the base level, any unrecognized numbers, it stops and just takes a message for you. Um, and then we have a, a lot of kind of smartphone type tools and settings that you can activate on your landline. And so one of them is you in the app, you can easily put your landline into allow all calls. And so if you're waiting for someone whose number you don't know and you know approximately when they'll call, you can you can easily turn that on and off. Um, you can also do do not disturb. And so, you know, say we're sitting down for dinner tonight at six o'clock and I don't want any phone calls at all. You can turn on do not disturb for two hours. So six to eight, no phone calls will, will ring. Um, we get the question a lot with, you know, well, hey, my pharmacy calls from five different numbers or, you know, I, you know, my doctor's office, same thing. And what we have found is that, especially with remote caregivers, the, the good thing about that is, especially if, for example, you know, the friends that you spoke about, they're 35, 40 minutes away from, from mom and dad. Um, and we have a lot of families kind of doing caregiving by committee. And so what they do is they, they put it into, 
uh, do not disturb or they they have the um, the doctor just call and leave a message. And then that way they all five of them are are sharing this app. And so then it's I forward it to the sister and say, hey, Katie, today's your day to pick up mom's medication. Here's here's the thing. And so everybody when the voicemail comes in, everybody's then able to access it and delegate it or share it or do things like that. Um, the other piece to that is Imp is smart enough if, to rec to learn numbers that you dial out on your landline phone. And so say you're calling your pharmacy and for whatever reason, you don't have it as a saved contact, you're dialing your pharmacy from your landline phone, you can activate a setting within Imp to say, hey, when I call out somebody, I want you to learn this number. So if they call me back, I want my phone to ring, even if it's not saved. And so we do have settings and there is some intelligence built in that natively helps with that. Um, and so that's those settings are all customizable within the app pretty easily. That sounds cool. Because I know back 2019, I was dealing with my mom's doctors. They would call, leave a message, then I'd have to go back to like the queue of, I couldn't call the doctor's office back directly. I'd have to get in the queue, leave a message for the doctor's office. And then I swear these people only called when I was like in the middle of something else where you don't generally have your phone. You could guess what yeah. that might be. It was so irritating because it was like, you people called me, you know, I'm returning your phone call. And now I have to leave a message. I have to give all these details again for the third time. It was just it was not a great day with the doctor. And it's, I don't know, maybe my phone was on block unknown calls and I didn't remember. Maybe that was the problem, but I just remember that it was just, it was like chasing monkeys, you know, because I, yeah. I couldn't call them directly. And I kept saying, I'm returning their call. Can't you connect me to their office? No, we can't do that. I'm like, for the love of God, you know, we're in the 21st century. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. I might. So my wife is a doctor up here at Dartmouth and, um, and she has patients who's, you know, so a daughter will come in with their mother and say, look, mom, just, she, she won't answer the phone. So, you know, the nurses will call and try to schedule something. And the uh, mom is just so overrun with unwanted calls that she doesn't even, doesn't even try to deal with it. And so then the, the daughter can't access the voicemails to say the doctor's called and what's going on. And so they're constantly passing each other back and forth. And so, you know, it's, um, He's seemingly at war, at best annoying, at worst, you know, fraudulent and actually trying illegal and trying to steal stuff. Types of callers cause all sorts of inconveniences, inconveniences and mayhem in between as well. It's just crazy. And I so tell me about your founder. Did he he must have had a family member? Did he have a family member get scammed, or was he just wanting to shoot his phone off the? desk because it was ringing all the time with junk yeah so um he basically created it to keep them to help his wife to make his wife happier you know they'd be <laughs> home he was he was retired um done working and he and his wife were, were home and the phone especially during covid the, the the phone was just ringing non-stop and it was just driving her crazy i mean we on average uh we see calls about 50 unwanted calls a week and for some the leader in the clubhouse right now is 150 calls in a single day 150 <clears throat> unwanted calls in a single day oh my and god so he you know so george our founder wasn't quite at the 150 calls a day but he was 20 calls a day of that phone just ringing non-stop and so that uh that motivated him to start putting the pieces together and look at ways to to, to really make these calls go away I love it. He found a solution to make his wife happy. What better reason, right? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Right. My wife is taking notes in the other room. I'm sure I'll have a list when I get out of here. Of, hey, what do you think about these? It's just 150. Oh my gosh. There would not be a second day when I would put up with that. No. I would unplug the phone and I don't know what I would do other than, right. you know, cause I was not one of those type of people that gave out my cell phone number. Cause I didn't want, you know, I didn't want business calls through it. I didn't want I didn't, you know, it was like, I'm sitting right here at my desk working on my computer. The phone is right here within reach. Can you just call me on my landline? Because it's easier. And then right. if I'm out at the grocery store, you know, walking the dogs or whatever, you're not trying to get a hold of me on my cell phone, which 
you know, was was common. Well, this was 2019 when we ditched the landline. So I was, I was, I'm usually a fairly early adopter to technology, but that one I was just like, I don't want people bugging me on my cell phone. This is like for family and like close friends. But you know, now there's the option of like blocking people I don't know. <laughs> yeah, and so it's I, been great for us using our landline because now I, so we hear for all, again, it's. Um, We've been, I've been involved with online businesses for at least 15 years now. And this is the first time where people are, are actively unsolicited sending us messages. And so to that point, we have a, a couple of parents who have kids who whenever somebody needs a phone, you know, say they're signing up for a new service and they need a phone number. Well, they don't want to be bothered on their cell phone. So they put mom and dad's landline phone as a number for, for their account. And so mom and dad have five kids all five kids are using the landline phone as kind of the junk mail. And so their phone was just ringing all day long from all these different junk callers. And so um, I can sympathize with that. And for me, similarly, now I, I'm okay giving out our landline phone because Imp just handles it all and it's not even a big deal. So my cell phone still stays pretty tight in terms of, uh, in, in terms of who I'm giving that number out to. That's awesome. Well, I appreciate that you guys are brand new sponsors and you've come up with a solution that like the entire planet needed. We just didn't know that you were there. So we hopefully can make this, make it more known that everybody that still has a landline needs to get imp so that they are not harassed to death by spam bots and, and scam calls. And you can still get the call from your doctor if you need it. <laughs> you sure can. Well, thank you again, Jennifer. We're, uh, we're really excited to uh to be with the podcast and to know the work that that you're doing i know you have some exciting news coming up with the alzheimer's association and the different things that that you're working on um and so thank you for for letting us be in, involved and for anyone listening join them.com any questions we have real live people ready and willing to help answer them either on the phone or, or in chat or email so um please feel free to uh to be in touch well, I appreciate it and I look forward to working working hard for you. Thank you, Jennifer. Fading Memories is also available wherever you get your podcasts.